Your journal is a wonderful place to do a more contemplative kind of drawing as well. Something to slow you down and make you pay attention. In this case, I've decided this rather complex piece of wood would be fun to draw, and it has no particular connotations with it. It uh, doesn't have emotional content other than the fact that I think it's interesting and beautiful. It was actually part of the uh, wood around my raised beds, but when this piece broke off, it had this fascinating texture underneath. And it's rather dirty as well, is it not? So I'm just going to take it very slowly here. Paying attention to all the shapes and what's going on with the wood. And for this one, I won't try to talk as much because that does not do much for my meditation. Almost looks like surf here. I'm using a Micron pen, an old one that is rather dry. Which gives a different broken line, rather interesting. Just paying attention to the shape and the age. Where this has been. As you can see, I turned off the recording because this is a meditative exercise and you don't need to watch every step of it because it would bore you to death. It's my meditation. I need to move this just a bit. And I've also switched pens. That one was so dry that the scratching of the pen was distracting me. Can you believe that? So I chose a quieter one. Just paying attention to these shapes. Wondering how this happened to grow this way. At one time, this was obviously a limb from the original tree. It almost looks like an angel's wing now. All of the grain, growth rings. I'd love to know the stories this could tell. And as I sit here drawing, I can look out my window and see a fox squirrel out there enjoying our seed under the feeder. I like my squirrels as much as my birds, so I don't have a problem with that. Think of the years of 
rain and snow and heat and cold that shaped this thing. I wonder where it grew originally. This has what the Japanese call wabi-sabi, which is natural weathering and beauty and Patina is what I call it. I like to think that humans develop that kind of wabi-sabi as well. And I can continue this as long as I wish, as long as I have time. Adding more and more detail as I want. I believe you get the idea. And when I'm doing a contemplative sketch, I really do like to be quiet, not talk. So I came back and did another. You can just work as long as you can until you run out of time and add as many details as you like. I felt refreshed when I was done. <laughs>